Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. <clears throat> when we last left off, we were in a bit of a dilemma, weren't we? We were working out what we were going to take back with us and what we were going to leave. Now, um, mm, we're going to go V-Jolt the plant, because that seems like the thing to do. We're going to go take that and that, and we're going to take the unprinted book. So, let's go back to the Aqua Ring. And go nuke the plants. The only trouble is we have a uh, crimson head in the way. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, let's go deal with him. I'm hoping this uh, little self-defense pistol is going to do the job. I mean, like, I've never really used... Oh. Uh... I just had another brain, actually. We're going to have to take out some hunters when we get back into the mansion. Oof. That's going to be... Uh, well, that's going to be something, isn't it? <laughs> with a handgun and no health. Uh, air we'll figure it out, I'm sure. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh-huh, right, that certainly did the job. I did wonder for half a second whether that was actually going to kill the fucker, but hey, good news, I guess. Right, uh, I cannot believe that there is nothing in this, in this place at all. I mean... Uh, oh, we can't go that way anymore, can we? Because we drain the water. Lel. Yeah, uh, I... Mm, oh, dear. I don't know. Because to get to the next save point, we have to go through one, two... At least two hunters. Possibly three. Can you see what I'm getting at here? Can you see the problem? I can see the problem. Just go to the box, right? And get the shotgun, right? <laughs> oh, God, that makes it sound so easy. Yeah, uh, ooh. This is going to be something. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be something. Uh, I'm hoping. Um, that, oh, have we, got, have we got, like, all... Yeah, we got all the dogs to get past as well. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I mean, you can only die once, right? I mean, not Jill. No, no, Jill can die multiple times. And she will, I'm sure. It could be worse. We could be on dead red health, but luckily we're just on uh, orange caution, which... Uh, like, might as well be dead red health. Okay, wow, it's not often I come into this room, actually. Alright there, Mr. Plant. Have I got just the thing for you? Yeah. Stick that up your tentacles. Right, um, now. Really, there's nothing in here, either. Ah, oh, dude. Looks like the control system for the water tank. But it's broken and can't be used. Yeah. Well, let's get out of here. We, we, we did what we needed to do. I'm also... I You know... I'm in two minds about letting Baza die. It's the obvious choice. Because that way we get his magnum. As well as ours. But... Oh, man, hang on. Thinking about in the lab. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, how many magnum shells do we have? Oh, God, it depends, because we're playing on hard as well. You know, I don't know if this um, is actually hard, as in the normal hard mode, or if it's a little bit different. I don't know if enemies have, like, the hard health or whether they have their own special uh, values for this difficulty. I don't know. Uh, but 
I guess we can't worry about those kind of things. We just need to rip and tear until it's done. Until it's done. Or at least, you know, keep running away. Wrong game. Yeah. Wrong game. But that's the right attitude to have. Rip and tear. Rip and tear until it's done. Although, it's not really possible in this difficulty. you spending a lot of time uh, running from the enemies. And actually... Plotting your route. Actually, you know, this rule survival. The difficulty is a little bit more apt to the Resident Evil uh, legacy. Um, now, well, I guess we have no choice. Also, I've noticed there's a, a Steam achievement for this game that I haven't got. Actually, there's a few I haven't got. There's four. No, five I haven't got. And one of them is every nook and cranny, which is entering every um, area of the mansion. Now, not only do you have to empty, uh, uh, enter every room in the mansion, you also have to use every door and you have to pick up every item. So, I guess somehow, I mean, I've got 50 odd hours of this clocked just on Steam. And somehow I've never uh, managed to complete uh, that achievement, which is curious the bindings of the book seem to form some kind of pattern reorder the books all right all right start with the feet it's always the best place to start all right uh, then we want some legs got to leave the titties where they are uh yeah and then we need the thighs there we go easy okay now if we was playing as Chris, this could actually be uh, a bit odd. A giant plant is cr uh, crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. Well, hopefully they're not too angry. Yeah, uh, if we was playing as Chris, this would be quite difficult. But luckily, Jill doesn't have to fight the plant. Well, this is going to be a bad what Wednesday. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> Jill! Where did he get that blade, bro? I mean, come on. <laughs> and look at that. He's just like, he's being twizzled around by the plant. And he's just letting loose that flame for her. He could cook himself and Jill. I guess he didn't really care about that. I love that scene. It's so silly. But it's so good. I thought it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? You tell me, Baza. You tell me. Anyway, we have what we came for. The key. We certainly will take the key. All right, Baza. How are you doing, buddy? Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. Yes. All right. Because that makes sense. Let's do that. The splitting up thing. Um, okay. Now, let's go out the main doors, uh, if I can find the main doors, that is. Because then that registers them as being used. That also means we need to go through the... Uh... Right, yeah, that, that door's now disabled, is it? Let me double check that. I think they do actually disable that door. I think it gets damaged or something. I can't remember. I don't think I've ever tried to... Oh, right. Okay, yeah. It's just... Old maps have been... Oh. 
They look like roadmaps, but they're of no use right now. Someone's taken one of the books. I never noticed that before. Huh. That's really interesting. I guess that's Barry. Or maybe Mr. Albert. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Right, let's go. Our health is still really bugging me. Oh, actually, there is another item drop before we get back to the mansion. Wesker. God, Wesker Jill. looks so good. So you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our <laughs> standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. <laughs> it's still so strange. We can't get into these... Oh, yeah. We can't get into these rooms. They're still locked up. Uh, have you tried, you know, shooting the doors? I'm just saying that makes sense. Um, okay, so we're almost ready to get out of it. I love Wesker in this game. He looks so freaking good, man. Ah, oh, a bit of a man crush. Right, let's go. Now, I think we're going to save it. We never need to use that again because we don't get any more ammo for it. We're going to take the magnum rounds. We're going to take the crank. We're going to take the red. I get... Oh, I don't know, actually. I mean, blue herbs, do we... Do we fight anything with poison? Um, yeah, we do. We've got to fight yawn again, haven't we? Uh, right. I don't think we can mix a red and a blue. No. For some reason, you can't do that. Uh, that's a, kind of annoying. Even though you can't actually use uh, a red and a blue. Right. Let's save it. I have started playing this again as well on hard. Just because. Why not? Okay. So, let's put a save there. Now we've got all the dogs to deal with, which... Oh boy. Um, yeah, so when we get back to the shed, we should get another item drop, and we will also get informed that Barry has repaired the door. Which is good. Uh, this place is 100 percent now, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Right, so this place is done. Let's get out of here. We're probably going to take hits um, from Lisa Trevor later on. Not going to worry about that too much. Deal with that as and when. A lot of the hunters we can actually avoid. This is Jill. Well, at least one. I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. Doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad. Brad. Shit. It's broken. We know it's broken, Jill. Gee, Brad, it would be pretty terrible if you get horribly murdered by Nemesis uh, later on. That would be awful, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, God, look how good this, this angle looks with the grass there. Everything's, like, so razor sharp. Now, there should be zombies uh, in the graveyard when we come back. This should be the trigger. But 
Oh, we got dogs. Yep. Yep, we got dogs. But, I mean, we're going to cheese the dogs. Because I don't feel like getting too horribly murdered. Right, where are they? Where are they? Come on, you fucking horrible bastard dogs. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we can cheese the dogs here. I don't think they can actually get us. Which is good. And if we have to cheese it, we have to cheese it. That's just the way it is. Where's that other dog? There he is. Here he is. Come on, Fido. There you go. This is a nice little safe area, actually. Yes, it's bullshit. No, I don't care. Alright, let's go. Ah. I'm also hiding that one, too. But obviously we don't need to... Well, we can't go into that one yet. We need the um, the battery, which we are going to go and get now. Uh, I don't really think we can... No, we can't cheese the other dogs. No, we can't. That's annoying. Now, these snakes are bastards. Yep, there we go. Are we poisoned? We're not actually poisoned. Ow. Now we're poisoned. Fucking wonderful. That's bad. Now, if you've seen my older videos, like on the original uh, RE games, those snakes really are never an issue. In fact, uh, I think in one, I actually questioned whether they could hurt you at all. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure in the original. But in this one, yes. Yes, they can. Okay. Actually, we could probably cheese these dogs too. Uh, no. No, we can't. <laughs> because, of course... Uh, hey, Fido. Hey, Fido. Don't get done in by the weird controls. Good. Um, yeah, we can't because the uh, actual lift thing is on the bottom. Right, cool. What have we got? He's given us a self-defense dagger, which... Ugh. Okay. He's given us a box of shotgun shells, which is very, very, very nice. Uh, use this thing to protect yourself from the bulletproof thing in chains. Use this thing to protect yourself from the bulletproof thing in chains. What thing, Barry? You're not making a lot of sense, Bazza. Just saying, bud. All right. Now, we're on dead red health, which is bad. We're about to fight hunters, which is really bad. We're probably going to die. Which is bad. Okay. Here they come. Here they come. Now the trouble is, because we're on so low health, uh, there is a chance that they can get off that one shot decap attack. That's bad. Oh, okay, we're the luckiest motherfucker alive right now. How? We didn't get killed there. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. To be honest. I am just as surprised as anybody else. Now, um... Right. We need to have a little think. A little sit down, boys and girls. And uh, decide how we're going to go forwards. Because... First thing, we need to smoke that. Now we've smoked that, we need to put this back. Uh, the handgun is essentially less than useless now. It is absolutely worthless, so we're going to put that back. The magnum, should we, should we take the magnum? Because the thing is... 
we could use the shotgun against hunters, but it's not guaranteed. And if we're going to fight hunters on this difficulty, we need them to be dead in one shot. Pretty much anything else we don't have to worry about. But hunters need to die. Um, we'll take the two keys. We need to come. We've got 23 shotgun shells. That's it. Well, 24 if you include what's in the. Uh, if you include what's in the uh, grenade launcher there. Um, right. This is. This is gonna be delicate I can't remember what we've got in the other item box let's take the magnum trouble is if we miss that is uh, a pretty tragic waste of ammo right oh god okay Okay. Okay. Can we? Can we? Can you not stun at me? Note to self: the Magnum is not a one hit against hunters. Okay, this is going. Oh, this is going to go well, isn't it? Right. So, okay. Hmm. We need to retrieve. Oh my god, how many shots from the Magnum did they take? Oof, we don't have the ammo for these guys. Not really. One. Two Magnum rounds. It's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing we're going to get um, Baz's Magnum because I think we're going to need it. Okay, let's go get our jewel back. Hang on, you can fuck yourself up here, can't you? How do we do? We need that. Hmm, okay. Because you need that in there, otherwise that door locks. But if we go down and around... Oh, no, 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 it's fine. You you actually can't fuck yourself over thinking about it. That's fine. Right, okay. I'm talking ass. Now, we've got hunters above us. Uh, my Facebook's going off, isn't it? One second. Let me delete that. Or shut that tab. Okay, uh, now... We don't need that for now. Only got six mag. I'm not feeling that magnum, to be 100% honest with you. That does not seem that brilliant. We need to go fight Yawn. We can. Uh, we need to go to the Wesker room, but we can't do that just yet. Hmm. Right, let's take a sneaky little shortcut. Right, on one second, guys. I'm back. Okay, so let's go and snake around the outside. We're going to go through the outside, literally. Uh... 
thing is, if we're going to go fight Yawn... Oh, man. I'm just trying to think, like, how... Yeah, we've got the birds in here. What do we have? We've got... Uh, 23 shotgun shells. 23 shotgun shells. Oh, my God. What can we do with 23 shotgun shells? Not much, Chief. Is the uh, <laughs> honest answer. Right, let's... Uh, there's nothing here, is there? No. Nope. No, sir. That's okay. We're just going to have to be very careful with our ammo. We're just going to have to pick our paths through the mansion very carefully. That's all. Right. Let's go through here. There should be something that we can use through here. Uh, there is a journal book thing. Uh, there's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind the painting. Not even Suspensa. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Mmm. Yes, indeed. Okay. Now, I thought... Could this be a telescope? Looks to be pretty old. Yeah, maybe. That was very observant of you, Jill. Really? I was expecting a zombie there. <laughs> Oh, game. Thank you. Um, I would have, you know, preferred a shotgun shell, but... Oh, yes, a shotgun shell would have been preferable, but hey. You do you, game. You do you. I guess some ink ribbons will be nice in their own little way. Go right there, buddy. Uh, I'm just going to take that herb from you. And I'm going to take that dagger. I hope you don't mind. Uh, dude, can you just, like, you know, piss off for a minute? Allow me to collect your bits and bobs, and then I'll be out of your hair. Uh, let me take the box. Ah, uh, thank you. Right. See you there, buddy. Uh, that's this area pilfered, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Get back out of here. I'm surprised. There's, I would have thought there was a zombie in this room. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm glad there isn't a zombie in this room. Could this be a telescope? Yes, 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 yes. Well, it ain't going to be anything super useful, is it, Jill? I mean, I'd rather be observing these guys through a telescope instead of up close and personal, but hey, we can't all have what we want. Now, um, let's eat that. I don't, we can't search that until we have um, the eyes that we need. And we're going to go get the eyes in a minute. Oh, man, we have, we have so many hunters to get through. Like, there's so many. Uh, we could potentially go through there, but there's no point. Ah, bollocks, I shouldn't have come down here. Because now we're going to activate a zombie. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. Might be able to avoid him. Ah. Careful now, Jill. Yes, he's an ugly bastard. Um, take his legs out. Shoot the leg. Sweep the leg. Yeah, you can stay behind there, sir. He can't get us, so that's fine. Um, okay. Now, we can go into the typewriter room. There is still stuff. Uh, and the West uh, Keeper Diary room. Which we can go take a look at. But upstairs is where the more interesting stuff is. I'm not convinced we're equipped to fight Yawn. Which is where my main concern is. I mean, we can, for shits and giggles, go and try and take Yawn on. I mean, 
what's the worst that could happen, right? I guess we could go take Yawn on. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, let's go do that. Okay, now was... I mean, I guess one shotgun shell for a self-defense dagger, is that worth it? Potentially, I suppose. Um, it does mean that we can get out of a hunter, hunter's grasp, which potentially could be very useful. Let's not, you know, try and convince ourselves it isn't. One shotgun shell in this game is worth very little. Very, very, very little. Okay. Let's go back and save it. I would still, I still say that the difficulty of this mode comes from the fact that you have to take so many more unnecessary risks because uh, I am tempted to take that. Uh, right, we can't use that yet. I guess we can use the closet key up. Just so we can have a look inside the closet room. Shall we? I mean... I don't think there's anything in the closet room. Apart from... Let's just do that, Gorm. I don't think there's anything in there. There's not going to be like a herb in there or any ammo, but I mean, hey, I can hope, right? There might be a crafty box of shotgun shells. I doubt it. But let's have a little look, shall we? And I actually really like this uh, path here. The fact that you can go outside the mansion and around the back. It is a nice little time saver. I approve. Okay. Let's get out. I guess it'll be a slightly longer episode because of this little deviation, but that's fine. Uh, now, do we want to switch costumes? <laughs> By the time you guys get to answer that, I probably would have finished this. Um... Hmm. I might switch into the other costume, but I do like this one. I guess we can actually get a good look at them all. We're not going for a time um, thing here, so. <laughs> oh my god. That is one of the best memes I've seen in ages. <laughs> when your homie is getting banked by his mum and his ass jiggles, I must get inside. Oh, Halo memes. Halo memes are fire. Right, uh, now, can we do this quick? Oh, we can. Yeah. Yeah, that zombie isn't even an issue. I love this door. I'm glad I could show Uh, oh my, yeah, there's literally nothing here. There's some cool, there's like a wedding dress in here. Oh. So, we are casual, Jill. We can go for BSAA, Jill. Wait, does it kick you out every time? It does. That's a little bit stanky. I don't like that. It should keep us in this room. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool outfit. I don't I don't mind it. It's not my favourite, but yeah, she looks cool. They actually change her face as well to the Resident Evil 5 face, which makes sense. Uh okay. And then we have Army Jill. Why must you leave the room? That's just silly Jill. I love this outfit. I might keep this outfit on. I don't know. 
This is one of my, yeah, I think this is, oh, I don't know, because I do like her OG Resident Evil 3 outfit. I really like this outfit as well. Just looks freaking badass. Not a huge fan of the goggles, but uh, anyway, let's go. I guess there's nothing in that room then. Uh, which, to be fair, I didn't think there would be. But it would have been nice if there was, uh, you know, something in there. And this outfit makes a lot more sense than uh, what she was wearing before. But of course, that casual outfit's just for fun. Still don't understand why she's wearing that in Resident Evil 3, but let's not split hairs, you. Alright, let's get back and save it. And when we come back, uh, I guess we're... Oof. I need to carefully think about where I want to go in the mansion. We're going to go fight Yawn. That's going to cost us a hell of a lot of ammo. I mean, we shouldn't really get hit by Yawn. Not really. Do we want to take the acid rounds? Acid rounds are super effective against Yawn. So, that might be a way of saving uh, some ammo there, actually. I can't think, I mean, I guess we could use acid rounds on hunters, for sure, but we have so few of them. I don't think it makes a huge amount of sense. I'm just hoarding six. I don't know if we're going to get any more. I'm going to say we're probably not going to get more. Maybe there's one more pack. We're going to get some more fire rounds. Although we don't have any fire rounds. But we're going to get some fire rounds. Uh, can we swap ammo out in this one? We can. Okay. So that is our anti-yawn weapon. I wish we could take that one shell out of that shotgun. But of course we can't. Um... Do we want to take an F8 spray? I really don't think there's any point, to be honest. We've got the Magnum, which we're going to save for later. I wouldn't mind to take the handgun, to be honest. Just because, like, the second time you fight Yawn, he's really easy to avoid. We do need the jewelry box. Um, we can use the eye, actually. Yeah, we'll just bring the eye back here. Uh, I, I think we're going to find an F8 spray on the way. Or at least we should, in theory, find some herbs, maybe. So I think this is what we're going to go with. That will get used up along the way, so that won't, but we need it anyway. Um, yeah, that should do for now. Right, I'm going to save the game, guys. Alright, and when we come back... Uh, hopefully we're not going to die. Hopefully. <laughs> Should I start... <clears throat> nah, I'm going to... I might soon start saving over <laughs> uh, the same save, just in case I totally balk this and have to load. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.